but uh, do a quick video. I've been sort of planning on doing this video for a while, something just a little bit different. Um, thought I'd talk a bit about the Colorado, the most recent service that was just done, and what the future, very near future plans are. So, uh, I purchased it new in 2014, that's an MY14 model, um, so basically that's kind of like the Series 2 of the RG that ran from uh, 2014 to 2016, and um, though mechanically nothing changed, it's just they uh, updated the, the dash, the infotainment system a bit. Um, uh, it's been really reliable, um, it's never left me stranded anywhere, uh, the only issues I've had with it uh, have been pretty much covered under warranty, apart from uh, one that was uh, damage I did to it, <laughs> um, or I'd uh, a little bit uh, overzealous in some ruts off road and broke a couple of wheel studs off the front. Um, but yeah, it's had a couple of little things, uh, recalls, the alternator, um, but it didn't go. Uh, the only thing that failed, but it didn't leave me stranded, was the um, was the tensioner pulley, and that well, wasn't long ago. Um, uh, that was only the last service ago, the 120,000k. Um, so, all up, I mean, I've not spent anything on it apart from registration, fuel and tyres. It's, it's been really, really good. However, the uh, last service was a doozy. I knew, what it, I knew it would be. I knew it would be. And uh, we'll go through some of that. Um, so, up until now... Uh, uh, the servicing up to I think 75,000 Ks was all fixed price, so that was $284 I think it was, or 282 every time. So no service there, it cost me any extra. Um, then, since then it's cost me around about between 300 and 400, depending on uh, on what gets done. Uh, this one, however, uh, yeah, it was a bit more. So. The uh, list of things done. Uh, so the standard 135,000k service is uh, engine oil and oil filter, uh, brake fluid, um, check the other fluid levels, coolant level, um, check the hoses, check battery terminals, uh, replace the air filter element. Um, inspect the brake unit and hoses, check for leaks around engine transmission, and we'll get to more of that later. <laughs> uh, check body lines for damage and fluid leaks, uh, differentials, um, check differential oil. Uh, I actually, last time was one thing we traded off was um, got the uh, diff oil's done this time. I, I should have got them done last time when they were scheduled, but uh, you know, I held it off for financial reasons. Uh, repack wheel bearings, uh, lubricate sliding sleeves, rotate wheels as necessary, uh, inspect brake pads and linings for wear. Uh, anyway, it goes on. I'll just check, check, check. Uh, now, what did they actually do? Okay, so removed and replaced front wiper blades. They weren't that expensive. I wasn't that fussed about that. Replace, uh, replace and flush rear diff oil. Refilled with a thicker oil, an 85W140, due to some indication that there was metal in the diff. Um, but it all flushed out okay. So, and it's all, it's functioned okay, the LSD's functioned fine, so, no issues there. 
uh, replace and flush front diff oil due to water contamination. Apparently the front diff was full of water. Don't know how that would have happened. Uh, rerun breather hose. So they've put the breathers up a bit higher. Uh, refill with oil. So they found the left left hand front diff seal was leaking. So they had to remove the drive shaft and replace the axle seal, the diff and axle seal. And uh, refit also they had to replace. Uh, so they're just supposed to repack the bearings, ended up replacing them because they were completely shot and they'd actually locked onto the hub. I've been through that much water. They'd, uh, the gentleman who, who did the service had a heck of a time apparently removing those bearings. I was planning on doing it myself, so I'm glad I ended up not doing it. Um, so yeah, so they were greased and refitted. So they did, uh, what was the gear oil, 5W40, they use Penrite full synthetic, so um, and what else was there? They uh, found the uh, shackle rubbers were ratted out, and they replaced those, and they also replaced the uh, lower shock bushes, the rear shock bushes. So. Um, other thing they did, the other thing they did was um, uh, both front brake pads and rear brake shoes. Um, they told me in the last service that the 120,000 service that they needed doing, and uh, I managed to get another 15,000 k's out of them. And they said they still had a little bit of meat left on them, so that was uh, that was good. So it was quite a costly service. I knew it would be. Um, it wasn't ridiculous, it was probably half again of what I thought it was going to be, but it was fair. Um, definitely didn't get overcharged for things, so that was good. Um, now, the future. So, what's happening? Well, apart from tyres, this thing is bog stock, oh, and my go faster plastic bits on the lights, um, it's bog stock. Hasn't had a lift, hasn't had any suspension or shock work, any work on the motor. Um, still got the stock front bar with the little alloy nudge bar that comes from Holden and, and um, everything like that. So, um, coming up, I've uh, splurged some money and uh, there's going to be a bull bar fit. I'll, um, Okay, so I think I'll save it. Surprise! See what the pool bar I went with. Um, it's also going to be obviously a winch bar, so I can winch myself out. And I'm going to be mounting an awning on the side as well. And I've got a uh, set of uh, rackless awning mounts, which is going to be interesting to see how they go. Um, anyway, that's. Uh, that's it. It's it's been an awesome beast, and I'm looking forward to the next 135,000 k's. So hopefully, uh, get it kitted out, and um, eventually, I'm looking at probably a a rooftop tent as well. Um, we'll see how we go with something like that. Um, I'd like to go for a for a bed mount, fairly. You know, try and keep it below the roof line. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a quick update on uh, on what's uh, been happening with Colorado, and uh, we're going to have a few other vehicles to feature in the coming month. So we'll uh, try and get a few more people on camera if they're willing and go through their their rigs. All right, cheers! I'm going to enjoy my beer. Enjoy this bit of sun and uh, might hit the tracks again. <laughs>